I'm gonna label this as unexplained case, okay? Probably do like a series of them, my experiences, okay? Never forget when I was in Atlanta, I was picking up, supposed to pick my ex up from the airport. <clears throat> so back then in the 90s, you can go directly to the gate, okay? You didn't have to wait by the baggage. So let's say her plane, let's say her plane was supposed to arrive at noon. So I go there at noon, okay? Waiting by the gate. No one's coming in. I'm asking the people at the, the desk. They say, yes, the plane is supposed to be here, okay? So I'm waiting, waiting, waiting for about 20 minutes. Nothing, nothing, nothing. So then I go back to the gate and I said, uh, I said, yeah, I'm looking for this flight number. And they said, oh no, that's the gate on the opposite side. Let's say gate E. I was at gate A. They said gate A E, gate E, right? So I go to gate E. When I go to gate E, there's nobody there. I go to gate E. I talk to the desk there. They tell me go back to gate A. Okay? They said, no, that's where the flight is. It's not at gate E. So, you know Atlanta's airport is humongous. So, I go back to gate A. When I go back to gate A, my ex is sitting there. And she said, where you been? I said, I came here. I mean, I was waiting for you. Um, for 20 minutes sitting right in front of the gate she said well I've been waiting here for, for a half hour so I don't know how that's possible and it was like it was crazy because when I came back it was all these people at that gate okay and you could say well maybe when you left she came back but I was only gone for about 15 minutes and I waited for 20 minutes so you're talking all together close to a half hour. She says she was waiting there for a half hour. Okay. And I'm sitting there waiting for her for 20 minutes. Nothing, no one ever showed up. But she claims that she's been waiting for me for a half hour. So it's very strange because it's a parallel world especially in airports. Airports are deeper than what people think. Airports are like portals where different entities, different beings come in and, in, in and out of these, uh, these gates. This is why they call it gate A, gate E, gate D, because they are portals, they are stargates. Is even video showing entities coming through the gates, okay, going towards the baggage, coming out, you know, so it's deeper than what we think. And at this time, you will experience strange phenomena, especially in the airport. Especially in the airport, okay? So I just wanted to talk about this unexplained case. And I just want you to uh, keep your mind open because it's more to life than we, we can imagine, that we can see. Another case was me and my cousin, was going, he was going to see the girl he was dating. And we basically drove, it's like we drove in the gate. And as soon as you drive in a gate, it's this circular, like, like grass area with a huge waterfall about maybe 30, 34, I mean, 35, 30, 40 feet high. Okay. So we see all this. We're like, man, it's a tall waterfall, right? To be at, at an apartment gate like this spent time with her on our way back we went by to pass it again to, to take another look at it completely gone it was in another dimension and we're circling around this circle no waterfall matter of fact they told us there's no waterfall um there's no waterfall here when you come into interest so what was we seeing it wasn't just one person seeing this we both seen it. Huge waterfall right in the interest of these apartment complexes. Okay? So it's a lot of strange things that um, are constantly happening that people just 
uh, brush it off like, oh, that was a co no, there is no coincidences. Understand that we are in a parallel world and these worlds are merging. So be open, keep your heart light, keep your heart filled with love, okay? Keep your heart filled with happiness, joy, and if someone piss you off, just send love their way. And you keep doing you and let them go their way. This is how you do it. You don't fight, don't resist, don't be angry because that's another way the ego traps you into this third dimension, this lower dimension. So you continue to stay in a higher dimension within you and allow your consciousness be your guide. And your consciousness, in a nutshell, is your heart. All right? All right, fam, just want to share this with you to say keep your heart open, keep your mind open. There's more in life than what we see. I will be coming back talking about different other experiences that I've experienced. And these are all real. These are not made up. I didn't see them on TV. I experienced these firsthand. All right, love y'all. Love and light. Peace.